Sure. Well, EBV infects B cells. About 95% of us have been infected with uh, EBV. It's the virus that, among other things, causes mononucleosis. So a big question is if 95% of us have uh, been infected and our B cells are uh, persistently infected, but the virus remains latent throughout our lives, uh, how could that trigger multiple sclerosis in uh, rare individuals? So the uh, point is that we saw uh, a very interesting molecular similarity between one of the components of EBV, a uh, factor called EBNA1, EBNA, uh, Epstein-Barr nuclear antigen 1, and it has a, a striking uh, molecular identity with a molecule in the white matter of the brain called glial CAM. Uh, CAM stands for cell adhesion molecule. So uh, that's probably uh, how the immune system gets tricked into, instead of just recognizing something in the virus, it recognizes something that's in your white matter. Now, the epidemiology side of the story uh, was a 10-year campaign by my colleague, uh, Alberto Escarillo at the Harvard School of Public Health, and he showed with exquisite uh, epidemiology on an enormous sample from the uh, U.S. military that everyone with MS uh, is infected with uh, EBV, and that uh, of the people who entered the military and were EBV negative, uh, 34 out of 35 uh, who went on to develop MS converted from negative to positive. So it was a confluence of uh, work in two labs done independently. One, uh, a brilliant epidemiological effort, and then uh, what my colleagues and I did at Stanford, uh, looking at a molecular basis. And it's very interesting that there are other molecular mimics of EBNO1 uh, that are located uh, to uh, neighboring regions of EBNA1. Uh, I'm uh, hosting a colleague from the Karolinska, and the Karolinska reported uh, another molecule called anoctamin, uh, A-N-O-C-T-A-M-I-N. And uh, anoctamin and gliocam are very interesting because they both are involved with uh, calcium signaling in the brain. So there's a lot to learn. The implications of all of this is, could we make MS go away with an effective vaccine to EBV? Maybe. Will antivirals work to uh, make uh, MS uh, a much uh, more benign disease or make it go away? That needs to be checked. And then uh, would we be able to simply tell, tell the immune system, don't attack uh, the gliocam mimic? And there's technologies for that. So I don't think it will happen tomorrow. I don't think it will happen as fast as we got COVID vaccines. But I think that uh, we may be able uh, a generation from now to say there used to be a disease called multiple sclerosis. That would be pretty cool. It happened for polio. So why not for MS?